Hey y'all friends, I'm Meech. Welcome back to my channel. So y'all, this wig that I have on right now, I am super excited about. It is from Instant ROI Hair. Excuse me if I'm saying that incorrectly, but I think that's how you pronounce it. But nevertheless, this is a braided wig that I received from them. I did install this wig glueless, which you all will see in this video. But well, they did such a good job on this wig. So thank you, Miss Deborah, for sending me this wig. I am so in love with this wig. This is a knotless box braid wig. I do have a promo code i will put that in the description box below um but yeah you guys this this wig is everything i did install a glueless so without further ado y'all want to see why i love this wig so much okay so let's just get right into this video okay y'all so as y'all can see i already got this wig cap on now i decided to do a wig cap even though i'm doing this unit glueless because i wanted the hairline to be as seamless as possible so um you don't have to do it this way but i just didn't want the thick band from um the cap from the wig cap underneath the wig um because i'm doing a glueless like i said so this is how the hair comes as y'all can see i've already opened it up and looked inside because i was thirsty <laughs> So first of all, it came with a thank you card and the thank you card was a handwritten note and I thought that this was just so cute. So shout out to Deborah for this um, handwritten thank you card. Now, it also came in a bag, you guys. So this is a satin bag that it came in, which will come really handy if, you know, I need to take it off and store it. And then it also came with two wig caps and the little hair pieces you know the little hair jewels that you can put on the braids so i thought this was really cute too because people are always asking me where to get these from and um i mean i thought that everybody knew but <laughs> obviously not so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wig now i've already looked at this wig and to be honest with y'all when i first pulled this out of the bag and i put it on like i ha i didn't like actually install it but i just put it on my head i was kind of shocked by the quality of this wig okay first and foremost let me say that this wig is not super heavy um that is a problem that i get a lot with braided wigs like they're super heavy it's a full lace wig so you guys can see inside it's full lace like you can see me through the wig so it is full lace and it does come with these elastic bands on it so i thought that, that was great too because again as i said you can wear this glueless like i'm going to wear it today and the elastic band is adjustable so i can tighten it or loosen it as um, necessary and then it also comes with four combs now usually i don't usually put a comb right here like i don't usually use this comb right here so sometimes i cut it out but i'm not going to do that in this video because you know i just want to make sure that the wig just stay together okay i'm not trying to then cut this off and then a whole wig i mean a whole braid come out like that's not what i'm trying to do okay so like i said this is the wig and as you guys can see this is the back of the wig these wigs um right now are on sale plus you know, I got you additional $15 off when you use the code Meech Promo one And I will make sure that I put that in the description box below. Y'all, this is so crazy. First of all, I haven't done a video in a month. Second of all, I always do voiceovers. So just sitting here talking to y'all is kind of strange for me. But I just, I'm tired of doing voiceovers. They're boring. It's like, yeah, like I'm giving y'all directions or whatever, instructions or tutorial, whatever, on what I'm doing. But... It's like, I don't, I don't feel like I really connect with y'all whenever I do voiceovers. I'm just, I'm, I'm over voiceovers, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and put this, and a lot of people struggle with this too. So, if you don't know, like if you get a wig or whatever, so say this is the wig and you have like the little black elastic band, the easiest way to put this on, okay? Just hold the wig upside down so that, you know, this front lace part is facing you, okay? Put your head down, girl. Put your head down like when you praying to Jesus or whoever you pray to. And just put this over the back. So you just want to do it like this. But when you do that, it's easiest if you put your forehead in the front part so that, that your forehead will hold it in place, okay? so that it don't like slide back because if you just put the elastic band on it and you don't hold it with your forehead then you got this situation okay and that ain't right okay girl so try to put your forehead in the front of the wig like so 
So put this in there and then put the elastic band on it. Pull this back of the wig back. And now your wig is on, okay? A lot of people be struggling with that. Like for all you who do not know, I'm a wig maker. So I don't do braided wigs, okay? I just want to, <laughs> I don't do that. So make sure y'all hit them up if you need a braided wig. But yeah, I make wigs and a lot of people struggle with that. They'll, you know, write me and be like, okay, how do I put this on? <laughs> and I'm like, girl, so then I gotta send them a video doing what I just showed y'all. So I got this wig on. This fits snug first and foremost. They do leave your little baby hairs out. So I am happy about that. This fits snug for one. I really like this already and I haven't even done much of anything to it but just how natural the braids y'all look look at the parts like and no matter how I flip this it just it looks so good <laughs> Deborah girl <laughs> this is so far <sighs> this wig is so bomb like I'm geeked about this wig. I want I wanted some knotless box braids so bad, but I just I cannot sit through that. That's why I did them big ass box braids, them jumbo box braids with braided wigs that I dislike. It's like when you have your hair braided and then you put a braided wig on top, sometimes it just look bulky. Like I need this to look like it's coming out of my scalp okay like this is just it is what it is like i went and got my hair braided let me show y'all again okay oh this is so cute i really wish y'all could see how cute this is my i have two lights on on the side but my ring light right here is broken so i'm sorry if it looks like a little dim and it's getting dark outside so i'm gonna try to hurry up and get this done so we can see how this is about to look Deborah, I don't know who all worked on this wig, but girl, I'm so y'all. I'm not putting nothing on this. This wig, I'm cutting this lace off, and this wig is still like secure. Like you know how sometimes when you put your lace and stuff start to kind of loosen up. That's not that's not the vibes that I'm getting right now. So let me hurry up and cut the rest of this lace off so I can see. If we need to add a little spray or something even though I really don't want to because I'm really trying to come in the house and snatch this mug off okay like how y'all be sleeping in wigs for weeks at a time is beyond me because no can do sir ma'am whoever I think once I lay my baby hair, yeah, it's going to lay down. Everything's going to lay down flat. Like, I do need to cut this little part off, though. But, yeah, we got the little baby hairs going. And this wig is still secure. Okay. Are we good, y'all? Y'all better tell me if my lace is looking crazy, okay? Because that's just what real friends do, girl. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. And she did email me and, and say, you know, we would prefer if you would do a um, glueless. We would prefer if you did a glueless install so that, you know, our our viewers, your viewers can see that, you know, it's a beginner friendly wig. So initially I was thinking like, Mm, how am I going to figure this out, how to install this braided wig glue? It's like, it's going to be sliding back and all kind of stuff. But now that I have this lace cut and I have this wig on my head and how snug this feels, Deborah knows her products. When she say it's glueless, it's, it's glueless. That's just what it is, okay? So, I have this on. Y'all, so I'm lifting it up right now. And when I let it go, it just drops right back into place. So I'm going to lay my baby hairs real quick.
Like, I could wear this cool up in like a high bun. Everything. Like, this is so. Now, obviously, if you be out here, like, you know, doing the most. This wig might not. <laughs> The glueless, I'm not going to say the wig. The glueless option might not be the best for you, even though this is snug, okay? Don't get me wrong. When you buy this wig, you will see that this wig is snug. But if you are out here, if you, like, be out here, you know, fighting and doing all that stuff, don't go to no fight with no glueless wig on. That ain't even just this wig. That's any wig, girl. If you're doing all that, then don't do this option where you just cut the lace and leave the wig on, okay? And I'm not putting a whole bunch of, whole, whole bunch of loose. It ain't got to be a whole bunch. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, look really natural. We ain't got to overdo it with the swoops. Okay, y'all. So we got some little baby hair action. I'm about to tie my scarf on real quick for a couple minutes. I'm about to put my scarf on real quick for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all, okay, how this looks. Okay, y'all, so um, I am gonna go ahead and take my scarf off. I did kind of reposition myself so that I'll be right in front of the lighting because it's getting pretty dark out. And when that happens, it's kind of like a glare. So you see like a lot of harsh lines. I think nobody got time for that because I need y'all to see how nice this wig looks, okay? So I just took my scarf off. I do need to go in and kind of soften up my baby hairs a little bit. Just a tiny bit because I wasn't trying to do too, too much. But yeah, y'all, this wig, I, I really like this wig. I really do. I really like this wig. Like, Miss Deborah really, she did her thing on this wig, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Like I said, I did just put it on. It's not glued down. I just put this mug on, tightened it up in the back, and then I put some, um, some mousse to do the baby hairs. And yeah, that's really about it. Here's this, like I was trying to show y'all before. Again, I will be sure that I put my um, discount code for $15 off in the description box. I love y'all so much, girlfriends. Thanks for watching, and God willing, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.